once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, you're so vain You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my ready race So catch me if I fall system that I've made. Uh, obviously I do a lot of trotting, love trotting like you know. And uh, I wanted to see what fish are in water. So I've come up with a device. It's cheap, it's wonderful and it works. So I'm going to show you how I've done it. What you're going to need is a lot of people use GoPro cameras and stuff like that. I've got GoPro cameras but I've got some of these cheap ones as well. And uh, obviously you need an SD card. But that's the brand I'm using. You can find these online for about £20 or be in place like that, they're running uh, 1080, 6 frame per second, that's good enough for what you need. So I want to devise some, so I've got some 20 pound braid and what I've done is this is where an old sea float and it was quite big so I've cut it down and that trots along water and then I've got two big shots there so I can change depth and that is just an old couple of straws plastic straws quite strong and if you see I put two holes through either side put elastic band two holes through either side I'll show you in a minute what they're for and I've put a little weight on there so what I'm going to do is show you what I've got passed it through underneath and down under there and then tied it on tied my weight on and it helps holding it all together so if I open it up And get my camera. You need to make sure there's easy access to take your batteries out and stuff. And the batteries run for about half an hour on this particular camera. So that's in. And then what I've been doing is putting that behind it. And these elastic bands hold this in place. Fiddle it. And that's in line. If you move that across, it should stay in line. Like that. Obviously, make sure your elastic band's not over your, over your lens. So that's trotting down underneath. And what I've been doing is I've been changing the depth. So you work out roughly what depth it is, and you want that to go down. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you, you probably get about a, a foot of depth out of that. So what I'm going to do is put it at its lowest point, its most shallowest point, which is about a foot deep. So you get two of your weights, put them on, and literally drop that in the river. And that goes down the river at that. And if you know how to trot, just trot in rivers, so it trots down and follows through, follows float, and you can watch it go down. 
and I usually do about 10 trots. Another good thing about this is you're finding fish. Um, I did some footage the other day, I tried it out for the first time and it went down under these trees. I know there's usually chub and stuff there, but if you're not catching them, you're not catching them. And I trot it down, I seen some really good chub. So what I'm going to do now is, just, like I said, I'm pulling these up, the line. So you want it to be about three foot, so that would naturally float up to there. It'll stop, it's like a stop bead, it'll stop at that depth. And you can see that that is down under the water, about two foot. So this is what I'm going to be trying. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it out and uh, I'm going to get some footage of, uh, see what see what capture. I'm going to try and get some footage and see what we get. So stay tuned all. So I've tied it all up, ready to take it. And I've used my Connoisseur Z-Match uh, match rod. It's an expensive rod to use, but I know it'll take weight. So bear in mind when you, it's quite a bit of weight there. You need quite a strong rod to do it with. So I'll take it down and get a try. So I'm, I'm on bank now. And I'm just going to set depth. And what I've done is I've dropped it in. And these two shots, that float stopped there. If you look at water, you can see where that stops. And that's my depth. So I've just dropped it down about an inch. Obviously that's a sliding float. So that finds your depth, and it's that's a stop. So I'm ready to chuck it in. So that's just floating down that with current, and then two shots are right at the top of the float. So I know I'm about an inch off depth. And what I'm going to do is just trot it, zoom back out. Sorry, just trot it along this swim. Here we go, we're ready to drop the camera in. A really steep bank. And it was about seven foot deep in this area. There's a minnow. Really murky on the bottom. Some good in there swimming through. Shoulder good in in a few days. Very inquisitive. Few little minnows. The dace there. Plenty of minnows in that river. Loads and loads of minnows. Some other small fry. Little chublets and dace. Camera's just drifting through. There you go, a lovely grayling comes past the camera. This was a bit of a sandier bottom. And there's a really bad snag there. I'll remember that for next time. If I'm not going to feed a fish, you know, drop shot in. Lovely little grayling there coming through. Nice to see. This is like off a Star Wars film, this bit. A.T. Walker coming over. That's a signal crayfish. And there's loads in that river. Loads. Lovely perch. Nice sized chub. Don't seem to be bothered about the camera. Just a leaf. Some smaller fry. Another grayling. I was having an argument with a crayfish at this point. He wanted the camera. Don't forget, if you're not a fishing buddy, please like and subscribe. Please share and leave a comment. We are having prize giveaways every hundred subscribers. 
It's free, it's all free. Lovely grail in there. It was a bit brighter that afternoon. I'll move down to another point, part at this point. You can see it's really rocky on the bottom and there's a big drop off. From minnows and another signal crayfish. Another signal crayfish is it's got drifting past in its little layer. And a beautiful grayling. Another fish at the back there, I think that's a grayling as well. Just moving the camera. You can see these rocks, there's a big drop off, it's really dangerous. If you got your lure in there or your feeder, you'd never get it back. Definitely stick float fish that part. There you go, these minnows think I'm feeding them. So best cause friends quick. New Begins Fishing's bought his camera. <laughs> and here they all are. Who wants to go on camera? On YouTube. Pick me, pick me, pick me. So if you like what you've seen, please subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video. Take care and tight lines to all. Persistence and obsession That's how you keep progressing I already learned